let's talk about this time that you were able to have on NAMI, not going to tribal, building relationships. Can you kind of explain how you felt about your relationships with your tribe? Um, yeah, like most of them were pretty good. Um, the very first relationship I had was with Venus, um, day one and day two, that was not shown. The development of that relationship was not shown. Um, and then by day three, I was really close with like Tevin and Hunter because, um, they really didn't want to align with Venus. I spent a lot of time um, trying to relationship build and help people relationship build by going in between Venus and Randon, going in between Venus and Tevin and encouraging her to do it herself um, just so that, you know, I could build an alliance with people I felt, you know, good about. Um, and just so we could kind of be more cohesive, like I felt like Randon and Venus were a little bit like scampering like away a lot of the time. And so it was really confusing. Um but um, at the end of the day, you know, by the end of day two or day three, I had to kind of like move away from like Venus and be like, okay, Tevin, like we need to, you and Hunter are like this. We need to be like this, this, this three, there's one more, there's me, I'm your baby, you know? So like, um, and then I felt like I was spending a lot more time with them um, and just trying to bridge those relationships. Like Liz and I talked a lot about like our early lives together. Um, we didn't talk much strategy. Like I tried, but she was pretty, like, she was pretty chill and like, not necessarily being strategic, um, from my perspective, but obviously she was behind my back, whatever. I don't um, know. She seems like she's on vacation. I, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, all I know is that she wanted me out. So fair game. Um, right. Hunter, Hunter was really, um, very, hardworking, um, like sure he would go off into the woods for like 40 minutes, but come back like literally covered in ants holding like 10,000 logs. So, you know, I admired him a lot and um, we sang songs together contrary to popular belief because the edit would have you believe that Hunter hated the songs. He did not. Uh -huh. um, that scene of him hating the songs was not real because if you notice he's sitting by the broom and then Venus is sweeping, like the, those two things can't be happening at the same time. So they made it look like he hated it. He didn't. Um, we sang songs together a lot um, on the island and as like a group of people like we just kind of all participated in it but Hunter was kind of like more like like watch but there was one time he joined in because he knew the song I sang because it was I'm pretty sure it's a hymnal and he knew it from that um from that side of his life so um but overall we were very chill I mean clearly he like thought I was getting in his way of his relationship with Tevin mm -hmm. but oh, it's fair it's fair it's fair but from your perspective you were close to Tevin and, yes. and trying to have that, that three. Um, yeah. and then obviously you start to have this, uh, just like complication with you and Venus, like you connected, but we're struggling to stay connected. Is that a summary? Well, I mean, yeah, I think they really, again, only showed like her perspective and not necessarily a full rounded perspective. Right. Um, especially because, Again, I was like her first friend and the only one who would talk to her pretty much and tried to help her with these connections, but I can't go down with a sinking ship if it's not working. So naturally, of course, I have to try to move away from you. Um, but as I'm moving away from you, I also have to talk to you because it's a game of survivor, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be Switzerland, but <laughs> I also have to be in the war for lack of a better term. Um, and so Tevin noticed that he noticed that I was still having to walk off with Venus and he got very suspicious of me. That seed had already been planted like deep inside of him. Even though I felt like we had a good relationship, he still had this twinge of like, oh, I can't trust her. Um, and so like it complicated it even further. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the like disagreements or like spats that you see are not like led by me. Um, they're mostly moments of like, oh, you like did this or you're not talking to me or like you ran over my toe. And like, I was like, I, I, I'm not the reason this happened. Like I literally said, she's going to get smashed. I move your body out of the way. You're also running alongside the cart. I was pushing the cart. Like, I don't understand how that could be my fault. You know, like it was just a lot of like, a lot of things were um, like on me, I guess for, I don't know what reason, but the way it was framed was like, oh, we were, we were fighting. And I tried to be very neutral, like, oh, you know, like your feelings are valid and I understand that and da, 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 da. Cause I get, I'm playing survivor, you know what I mean? So, um, but I'm also going to like set boundaries and be like, no, like you can't yeah. talk to me. <laughs> no. Did you realize, I mean, it became like a joke on Twitter, but did you realize that you were grabbing the immunity idol? No, like those I did not realize that. And I like, I want to tell you, I do not like, 
I, I'm not a malicious person at all. And it had nothing to do with her or anything like that. Like, I was just excited. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like, like, I only get to play Survivor once. Let me touch it. Well, I am an astrologer and you're an Aries, Sun, Mercury, and Mars. And it's just, it, it cracked me up because Aries is the first zodiac sign. It's just natural for Aries to step up first. Like you'll, <laughs> you'll just be a leader. You'll just grab the thing, like whatever. It was just such natural default Aries energy that <laughs> I was, I was thoroughly entertained by it. Wow. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I've been meaning to get my birth chart done just cause I'm curious. So. Yes. Oh my gosh. Let's do it. You know, now you've you've merged, right? You're you're having to talk to new people. Was your goal to stay Nami Strong? Were you entertaining other alliances? No, the goal was never to be Nami Strong. And here's the thing: like we should have gone to tribal at some point. And I do have theories about that. Had we gone to tribal day one or day two, I think I would have survived. I think like generally, Venus probably would have gone home. Day three or day four, day five would have been, would have gotten more complicated. I think those seeds would have been planted early, possibly early enough to me for me to get like blindsided and be out. But this was really Nami's first tribal, right? Mm -hmm. So it was all the mess wanted to come out. Okay, the soup overboiled. It was falling, there's carrots and potatoes just falling out the pot and it's falling, there's stone foaming and everything, the smoke alarm going off, like, save me, save me. We're done, okay? And I was like, we gotta get out Venus, like period. Like this is not gonna be, I don't know what Liz is doing. We need to get out Venus. I wanna stick with Hunter and Tevin. Randon's gone. I like Charlie. I wanna work with Tiff. Where's Tim? Like, let's go. But it was too late. Ah. <laughs> uh. Right. So these conversations before this tribal, you had planted the seeds. Uh, and was that it? Were you just kind of focused like that's probably the plan your plan was going to happen? Yes, I will admit I was very rigid in my framework because like when you think about it, this really is my first opportunity to do what I had wanted to do it like 13 days ago, mm -hmm. 12 days ago, 11 days ago, give or take. Right. So I'm almost still there. And that's like, that's the part of survivor map. If you never go to tribal, you can't test tribal lines. I have not spilled blood yet. My mm -hmm. brain is still in my original world, trying to get out the original player from here, from this core group that was just not gelling and causing spats and stuff like that. So that's what I was saying. I was like, okay, we've wanted to do this. This is it. There were no alarm bells ringing um, at that point on the island, right? There had mm -hmm. been some when we were all one big merge group, like Tevin wouldn't like necessarily be in the same groups talking to me as other people. He'd walk away when I'd come and I'm like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Liz was like talking to me about like, oh, you're meant to win this game. I'm going to help you get to the end. Like you're going to win. I was like, oh my God, wow. She really doesn't want me here, you know? <laughs> but in that moment on the island, I was like, whoop, my blinders are on. Let's get, let's just do this. <laughs> So is the biggest surprise here that Tevin would go against you at this point? I'm not fully surprised, honestly. It was a shock that he, um, you know, blindsided me, but it, I, I wasn't shocked because we had had moments where I was like, yo, what's going on? And he was like, I see you in Venus. And like, I just don't, there's something I don't trust about her. And like, I don't know where you lie when you keep walking away. And he had major trust issues, like major trust issues with me. And then also saw me as a threat, like another butterfly. And we can't have two butterflies in the, in the forest or tree or whatever. So I think it was just, it was just, it was a combination of stuff, but I was not necessarily surprised. I was like, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> mm -hmm. So sitting in this tribal, um, I mean, like you said, you you lack the experience of tribal, so you don't necessarily know how to feel, but it seemed like maybe you were pretty comfortable. Oh, yeah. They did great. When mm -hmm. I tell you they did great, it was immaculate. I didn't even think about playing my shot in the dark. And there was a lot of banter that was not shown. Like after mm -hmm. Venus said, like, I am on the chopping block, I actually said, well, me too. Like technically me too. I've heard my name. Like I knew she was throwing out my name, you know, but I wasn't worried. And I mm -hmm. definitely, that was the one mistake you never make in, just in Survivor is to not be worried. Like you have to always be worried. That alarm makes you do stuff as contingencies and insurances. Like you, you become a different person necessarily out there in the game. Like you start doing natural stuff if you're paying attention if you're on a high alert, you know what I mean? And that mm -hmm. I wasn't. So checkmate, you know? 
Oh, yes. I mean, that seems really difficult to be on pilot all of the time. Yes, it's hard. Very hard. Now that you've had a little distance, can you sum up this, this experience for you? Yeah, and this was like a euphoric experience, like from beginning to like getting back from it. Re seeing it on TV is a little bit different because you're seeing a different story. So that's difficult to grapple with. That's probably the hardest part. Mm -hmm. But I mean, just the whole process, just being in Fiji, like the the starlit nights are, there's no words. There's nothing I can say that will get you to feel what it is. You have to go. Um, and to be able to push my body to lengths that I didn't know it could go to and thinking, well, if I was fueled and other than I would be even more badass than I am right now, you know, um, it was truly euphoric. It was lovely to watch you. And I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. And I'm serious about that birth chart, girl. We need to do something.